Welcome to Nightstand. I'm Bartholomew. This gentleman, what's your name? I'm Nazareth. Oh my god. Listen. Naz. He's Naz. I'm Barry. In short. Welcome back. If mm. you're not following us on social, hook it up down below. We do a lot of different things. I have Poison Ivy. Also, subscribe yeah. to this channel yeah. if you feel the need. The need for, for speed. speed. Uh, um, but YouTube algorithm thrives off subscriptions and leave a comment in the comment section if you're like, Naz, you're crazy cool, or Barry, like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. yeah. Feel free to do that. I've gotten those before. I delete them before they're, they're viewed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How have you been? What what was your week like? Dude, I'll tell you something right now. I have been dealing with this unbearable heat. And one of the things that drives me most crazy about just existing is that we're always having to acclimate ourselves, at least where we live, where there's four seasons. It's like by the time you get used to something, that bitch flipping. Oh, if you don't like the weather in New England, wait a minute. Oh, God, what an old idiom. Yeah, just wait for weather episode. Oh, yeah, that's going to kill. But no, so seriously, like the heat's been insane. My week's been fine. I mean, the poison ivy is a situation. I'm tired of mowing the lawn. We got goddamn Jurassic Park up in that shit. I swear you had fucking poison ivy <coughs> last time I was here. Oh, well, I get it all the time. And you know why? You're allergic to poison ivy? That, and not because I'm like this curious gardener type, yeah. but because I'm this maniacal weed whacker type. I go out there, shorts, shirt, no safety goggles, nothing. I'm blowing shit down left and right. Yeah, you whack something. Every day. Or you um, just straight whack. Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm quite whack. But no, so this the juices they oh, yeah. fly everywhere. Right. What and, the fuck is with poison ivy? Like plants have defense mechanisms? Yeah. Well, every plant does. That's where you get flavor from vegetables. That's insane. Like, did you know that? Do you think cilantro's like stay away from me? I taste mm. like soap. Meanwhile, the Mexican culture's like, oh, don't worry about you. Make you mix you with some lime juice and white onion, little jalapeno. <sighs> I no? don't like cilantro. Oh, what are you, a it super like, taster? No, it tastes like metal to me. Oh, yeah. I've met people like you at the restaurant. And you know what? I don't appreciate it. What restaurant? I used to work at a restaurant. Oh, okay. Well, so listen. Um, poison Ivy, when you cut a pepper, when you cut a bell pepper... I've cut many. The flavor of the bell pepper is actually its defense. Well, the, pe the pepper skin is supposed to be, as Tom Colicchio would say, discarded. Because it's bitter. Oh. So if you if you de-skin red peppers, it's a better application. So you're talking about what, like a, a grill over a flame? And you then roast you... the red pepper, you flip the script, script off. Tell you what, I love a chili relleno. Oh, I would kill to stuff that with some good old cheese. Wow, that sounds vaguely sexual. Well, I wouldn't stuff it with meat. Oh, boy. Damn. Okay, so look. Is today... this as raunchy as you wanted? Yes, it's disgusting. Is this what you wanted? Yeah, no, this is what you wanted. Uh, 22... I'm not entertained. Okay, I was going to call out uh, and just give a shout out to Mike Rivera of, I think, 22K Street. Hey, man, I'm stopping by later with a kegger. So I'm at the the uh, Calada years ago. Heineken half keg. Those are fun. What's this episode about? Oh, so this episode is all about things that drive us crazy, annoy us. Case in point for you, viewer, Naz and myself probably annoy your shit. That's cool. And what? It's called Pet Peeves. Pet Peeves. What was that thing you did at the beginning? I don't want to redo it. It was annoying even to me. Oh. Well. And look. dear Sergey was sitting there like, divorce papers. Okay. So we all have them. They are different for each one of us. We probably all share a lot of them. Like, God, who doesn't move at a red light? Like, get the fuck. <laughs> Rolling. Drivers, drivers, right. drivers. But so we all have these different things. And I mean, honestly, that's just being human because with these five senses that we've got. So many. There's one so too many. Well, look, let's just take a perfect example of something. Like, if you're in public and someone just rips ass Ugh. and your nose is assaulted, you can't even call that a pet peeve because it's just like a gross thing. Yeah. But if you hear something, if you can see something that it just makes your skin crawl, if you taste something or if you feel something. I love where your head's at right now. I mm. think you're really bringing me to the point where I'm like you. Like, I'm sitting here like... I don't want to smell. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see. I don't want to hear. And you're absolutely right. Connecting that to the senses right. is so incredible. And, and we'll get there with the segment, but really well done. 
I think yes. this is your wheelhouse. Well, I'm annoyed by most everything. Actually, this is your wheelhouse. Yeah, I'm wheel. Oh God, this but, is like. But Bill, you know, this Bill. is also your wheelhouse. Oh, this show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been all right with this show for quite a bit of time. So you know, what's your list? Oh, so I mean, it, uh, as to not list things off completely, I just want to go to one straight up thing that I. Oh, the scroll. Yeah. Well, you pulled it, so I pulled it. Um, no, but one of the things that really kind of gets in my craw is when somebody won't get to the fucking point. And I mean, I'm talking like first sentence out the gate. So if you, as a, you know, you're going to preface something to me, you say, hey, guess what happened to me at the supermarket? So what right away- What happened the supermarket? Well, right away I'm in the supermarket. Yes. My brain's there. I'm waiting for what you're going to tell me. Yeah. And then you start off with some shit like, well, what you got to understand about me is like my dietary restrictions are very, very rigid. I'm like, oh, whoa, 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 already, whoa, 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 already whoa, whoa, whoa. the story's shut off. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? And how long do they go, honestly? I won't let them go. Oh, you won't? No, I'd say, come on. And I actually have, I have coined a phrase, kind of sucks, but I'm like, let's just nutshell this. In a nutshell, what happened? I you used couldn't to, get broccoli? I used to think you were rude, but honestly, at this point, and I feel like I'm sort of in your head right now, I think you're just like, just being honest. Like, why are you talking so much? Correct. One of my greatest pet peeves, and I don't have that many. I think I deal with um, the stressors of the world pretty decently, mm. but... When people talk to me in public, they're just trying to be polite, right? right? But I usually have headphones in, and I am, like, basically not, like, my sensory, I stay very small. Like, even on the train to Boston, I would be, like, invisible. You're a and peg. And I'm tall. You're a peg. I'm a peg. And I'm sitting there playing Tetris, and I'm like, just don't talk to me. And then people would, you know, These pat are me on the strangers? shoulder. strangers? Strangers. To say what? God only knows. Oh. So you they're know? like, I love your earbuds? Yeah, they're like, well, they're like, I love your ancient Game Boy. Like, that's incredible. Oh. And I'm like, grazie, Well, grazie. Uh, counterpoint, I mean, you bring a Game Boy, some shit from 1991, onto the subway. Yeah. You're inviting the conversation. Listen, that's not my fault, right? Even though I well, have no, the coolest is. piece of equipment since sliced bread, it doesn't mean you have to come up to me and say, you know, I had that once when I was young. Like, okay. oh my God. So one of my pet peeves with Naz is... <laughs> and I'm sure that honestly, of which there are many, Sergey, yeah, Larry. I mean, anyone who comes in contact with you will probably agree with me on this. Is like you can say this to. He will be looking in your eyeballs, and you will say something to him, and he will nod and looking at you. You'll turn to then you know maybe slice up some cucumber for the tzatziki, and then he's like, "What the hell did you just say?" And you're like. Hey, Is that a pet peeve? Yeah. I mean, we're on a show together. I know. And so I'm like, what are you... T I just said this, so now I've got to repeat myself. What were you saying? And say what again? Say what again? I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what one more goddamn time. This is the point I'm trying Joking. to make. Right, right, right. But let's talk about something else. Yeah. The classic pet peeve. Yes. Which I don't even know if it's a classic pet peeve or a pet peeve. But it's just fingernails like, on chalkboard? That's where it's fucking going. Oh, my God. Also, we didn't even plan that. side pet peeve. We didn't even plan People that. who fucking steal that motherfucking thunder rip. So, oh. yes. I was just thinking that, like, when I was yelling just then, I'm like, Saturday is like... His voice is too loud. My shit? No, like loud voices. Is oh. that a pet peeve? Um, there are screamers. My voice. We have people at the house and, you know, sometimes the night will come. It's a time for continuing continuing to party, but we also have to use our inside voices. Hey, party continuance is the main game. Uh-huh. Right? Keep it going. Keep it pumping. But exactly. also don't yell and don't play your shit too loud and don't stay up too late. Okay. And make sure the groceries are bought on time. And, like, make sure you don't put all your wallet and keys and glasses on the counter. Put them up front in a little basket. Jesus Christ. So I, you've been sitting on that egg for a while. I guess. I mean. What about, um, now this is, this is really going to strike at the heart of what you got going on. Yeah, what is it? So... I know you've talked for years about expectations. Oh, yeah. And you despise them with a fervor that is unmatched. Don't ever expect. So someone is like, hey, I've got this event that's happening. We'd like your presence there. Yeah. Now, maybe you get a formal invitation. Maybe you get a text. Right away, you know, it could be, honestly, the coronation of a king. Sure. And you'd be like, what? I can't. King Charles Sausage Fingers. I can't. To who? King Charles Sausage Fingers? What, is that a, what's that? I mean, you know the new king? Do I know the new king? Oh, Charles. Yeah. And He's have you ever seen a picture of his hands? It looked like my right foot. Well, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, dude. I would I would literally... <laughs> sausage, peppers, so, onions. Okay, so you won't, eat, you won't eat meat, but you want to... Fenway eat... Park. This is like an assassination attempt 
Good thing we're over here. Well, I mean, if you if you just put some fennel in with that, you're a going man's... to get a great game day sausage. You think that British food is worthy of eating? Oh, absolutely. Sorry. Fish and chips rot. Oh, my God. Bangers and mac... That's Irish. Get a good curry on the breakfast. That's <laughs> I Scottish. Moggy. How many times have we debased yeah. the British Empire? Well, look, they tried to... You know, they were colonizing. Yeah. Where, oh, where colonizing? Was That's pet peeve. pet peeve. Yeah. Anytime you try to go in there with that imperialistic attitude like, yo, listen, you can do all the goddamn work. We're going to take all that hash and that money and that good time and you will get nothing in return. And I don't know if you've ever heard this before, but taxation without, without representation. representation. Horrendous. Naz pet peeves? Working in general. Oh, God. Telling me what to do. Oof. Um. Mm. Hey. That's yeah, it. what, oh, what about ones. this? What about, um, what about, um, no offense. None taken. But, no. Yet. <laughs> That's the example. So someone says, hey, no offense. Oh. But you are a heinous dog. Right. This is sort of like, what are you what saying? What about this one? I'm not racist, but. Oh, God. Pet peeve. What do they do right afterwards? You know though? what? Racism. Pet peeve. Well, that's more of than a pet peeve. That's like a... See, uh, that's the thing. I don't think I really understand the difference or the line between pet peeve or like, don't bring your shit to me or I cut you. Okay. I mean, I've never even... Do you own a knife? Mm, chef's knives. Like oh, Chris they, Ferguson. They can cut. Oh, chef's knives. Chris Ferguson. Rest. In, in power. What? In your home. He's alive. Yeah, he's fine. I assure you he's the final. No, alive. but when he does rest. I'm actually going to FaceTime him later. What? Yeah. So you will come to an event. Yes. Not lay your head in that home. Yep. But then you'll talk to our ex-producer? Yeah. I call that guy, we, we are DMing on Instagram now, like, all the time. I'm sending him, like, funny metal um, posts, and he's like, man, you're, like, I'm so scared of Annabelle dolls and shit. And what? we're like, all I right. feel like he's one of my beloved. Hold the fuck on. Yeah. Two weeks ago, you had a party. Did I? You were smoking cigarettes. Oh, right, right. I was not smoking cigarettes. No, well, you did. My were people smoking, were smoking cigarettes. cigarettes. You didn't invite my shit. The, the thing Now I'm... you're out here talking about... Now you're talking you know about that? Ferguson? What? Yes, I'm talking about Ferguson. What do you... What do you have for me? Brother, I talk to you on the phone I now. I like being called brother. Which I never talk to anybody on the phone. You only call me on the phone to instruct me. Oh, that's not you're true. You're a sick fuck. I call to ask you questions, to learn from your brilliance. Well, now you stroke in the right kind of flesh. And I'm lying. Hey! <laughs> Might have to lower that volume. That was That's crazy. That's all right. We can, we, can, we can work that volume. Well, look, uh, there's also... Is there a segment? Oh, hell, hell, hell. Hell's uh, bells. Yeah, hell's bells. Can I start? You know what? I lost my phone. Don't worry. And... Just, I'll do them all. I have like a few that I'll just do for you. Okay. okay? Yeah, yeah. Can you start with um, the intro and tell us what this is? Oh, yeah. So this segment is called... Wait, we, t we talked about a name. Auditory phobias? Auditory phobias slash... Annoying ass sounds. That's a. It's almost like an title. ASMR, like. And again, there are people who suffer from misophonia. I know folks in Don't real life who do. Them. When you're sitting in a movie theater and people are crunching popcorn or moving or on the phone, okay, these things really moving. Destroy. Yeah, like moving around, shuffling, getting up, sitting down. I'm going to tell you something right now. If I'm in a movie theater, this shit's about to begin, and you start deciding you don't have the right seat. Yep. Listen, Bucky, you had motherfucking time. Yeah. Figure it out. That's so, not even, that's more of a... Exactly. Okay. It's more eyes. But yeah, yeah, a yeah. lot of people suffer from, you know, this is too much. But now we're going to we're gonna make you all suffer. Okay. So, Barry. Yeah, yeah. What's the second? Oh. Auditory phobias. Okay. This is great. The first one is this. Can you name what this sound is? I think that's eating a cucumber. It's eating a banana with the skin. Oh my fuck. Let's see what else there is That's here. That's disgust. What the fuck? Who? Why? Was that... Whoever made that video was just doing that for the sound? Yeah. The, the, it's called... Um, Funky trivia? It's called ASMR cringe. Top 13 most annoying oh. sounds ever. Can you last? Oh, I love this. All right. So here's another one. I was close. Cucumber is sort of like a banana. So zero points so far. Oh Everybody mark that down on your score sheets, which I know you've been keeping because you watch the show every week. Yep. And you've also subscribed to the YouTube channel. Uh, God bless. Right. Good job. <laughs> I'm sorry. I Was this you last night? I can't. Do, please turn this off. All right, let me just guess. He couldn't last. Is it? Is it like a, a wet dog fucking around with its dinner? It's WAP. What's WAP? 
It's actually sticking your fingers into mayo. Oh my god. I love so, mayonnaise, but I almost just got sick. Can you tell Barry what WAP is, though? It's a song by the delightful Cardi B and the incomparable Megan Thee Stallion. Oh, I thought that was called WAP. Yeah. You don't say ass, you say ass. Wet ass pussy. <laughs> We've reached a new milestone here, folks. I'm pumped that this sweaty hunk of shit yeah, finally said the p I word did it. I i'm did proud it. of you i'm really proud of you you're me. so proud of me hey on. there's one really annoying one all that women I are queens hate. all women are queens that's true <laughs> okay ready <laughs> um what's what was the last one? Oh, mayonnaise you missed it mayonnaise jar okay this one's good ready i want to say that's a balloon an inflated balloon rubbing against glass did you hear that one? What, what? He's fucking with a piece of styrofoam and rubbing styrofoam together oh, and God. on his teeth. God damn. It's fucking horrible. I was sort of close. Yeah, what'd you say? Balloon, balloon on glass? There's actually balloon in here. Balloon on glass is Ew. weird. Yeah. Hey, dude, what, what if somebody hey, came with a little, ooh. like a rapier and stuck it into your nipple? What's a rapier? Like a like a fencing sword. Oh, uh, you know what? Isn't that your nightmare? Yeah, there's a... The Night Swordsman. No, no, no. We don't have to talk about that. Don't like, try to exploit my are shit. They, Come on now. Are those pokies ready to poke? Everything is holes. We need, a, we need a jacket. We need a... Uh, what do you call it? The sleeping bag that's cold? The cold bag. We need a cold bag. We need a cold bag. Aisle four. Jesus. Clean up Barry. There's okay. a hole in the center of every nipple. Oh my God. I'm These gonna are go actually down a really I fun. All I right. fucking love this video. Let me see if there's a good one here. Yeah, you got a good one for me? Okay, what's this? Ready? Yeah. Dawn Power Wash has three cleaning boosters. Oh, I love ads. Traditional dish soaps. It's more than soap. It's Power Wash. Anything's possible when you smell like Old Spice. What the fuck is this shit, Old Spice? Bam! Hello, Fresh. Guys, shrimp spaghetti with the kick is what we're gonna make. Wait, shrimp spaghetti with the kick? Dude, wait, real quick. No, that's fine. When Saturday gets the Hello Fresh like envelope in the mail, she's like, "Ooh, how much money can I run you fuckers for?" And she saves like. I would say she saved the most money per per annum than any <laughs> consumer in the on the East Coast. This By, if if HelloFresh keeps if you stop using HelloFresh, yeah, they send you cards that are like, okay, own our empire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and and she owns. She yeah. has a title deed to own HelloFresh. Okay, from all these coupons. Okay, so, ready? Yeah, I just, it's my shirt is really, and then Are something like fell peavy? on my, no, it's just so stank and sweaty. Are you feeling PV? I'm ready to go, Pavy. Dude, PV amps, respect. What up, EVH? It's not happening yet. <laughs> okay, stop, I think I got it. I mean, honestly, this is the only thing I could picture. Someone dropping beef medallions into a five-gallon bucket of water as they walk down a creaky hall. I like where your fucked up head's at, but it just looks like he's sticking his socked foot in a in a thing of water. That's that way more actually normal, wasn't actually. That great. Well, no, but that's still... The sound of the beef medallions dropping is All not right. unlike that time when you go into the restroom. Yes! And you do the... And you're dropping the pellets. <laughs> yep. Maybe you had your Metamucil the night before. Oh, Maybe God, you listen. are ready to go. Hashtag not sponsored, but Metamucil is the greatest thing. I take it every night before bed. Hey, one tablespoon, baby. Keep you right and fresh. You know, me and Larry do two tablespoons, right? Oh, my God. We go sick. heavy. Dude, your large intestine is going to just like, there's going to be no lining left. No, it's psyllium husk. Psyllium husk. Listen, Gouty. We oh. are, we're working it. Don't talk about it. <laughs> Okay. What, what? Oh wait, you already did all your shit. You just gouted me. I gouted you good. Yeah. Listen, I'm gouted the closet. One of the sounds. Are we done with this? This is a phone call. Hold on. Okay. Take it. So. Matt speaking. This looks like hello. Spam risk. Assholes. You just got spammed up. Right, so ready? one of the sounds. You have more sounds. Yeah. Fuck it. I mean, I don't know. You, you know. Cut. I don't like to cut. Okay. One of the sounds I had for Matt that I can't play because I lost my phone and it doesn't really matter was, and this is one that I actually got yelled at for, thank you so much, uh, yeah. in my childhood, was the fork on the plate, right? We all know it. Oh, yeah. It's, it's terrible. So I sometimes will, because I'm when I'm eating, I'm more about like, all right, let's get this in and done. We're not having an experience here. This is just sustenance. In and out of the mayo, 
turn yourself about. Sure, in and out like a robbery. So I might, you know, I might hit the plate the wrong way. So at the time, my stepmother yelled at me about this. Mm. And as a young boy, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. But then she said to me later, you also put your teeth on the fork when you eat food, and when you pull the fork out, it makes that sound. So to this day, I'd be lipping that shit. And she hits you. But I must tell you, no, no, my stepmother uh, is an angel. But oh, good. the one thing I would tell you about this fork situation that you got to understand there, sweat beads, I'm is listening. if the f meal is hot and the fork is hot, if you put your supple little baby boy lips on that fork, you're getting scorched. I'm talking human torch. Precious baby boy lips. Right. So. Listen, I was a baby boy once. You really were. I was fat. Yeah. No one gave a shit about me. Little chubster. I had a fucking <laughs> spike. They called it a spike. Yeah. But it was really just like. I know what you're talking elevated, about. elevated like pert plus like with the hair pushed back. I saw you. And I was wearing like a bum equipment shirt that was like XXL. And I had these like biker shorts that were like spandex. Dude, you're talking about the first season of Nightstand. And I was at Disney World. I'm not joking. And I was like, yay, I love Mickey Mouse. But God, then, oh, were... I already told this story when Figment fucked up my hair. He bit Figment? my hair. Yeah, Figment the, de the dragon. I've already talked about this. On the show? Yeah, I think I have. I've never heard this story Are in my life. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. So Figment bit you. Yeah, Figment came up and bit me. And you know what? That's a pet peeve of mine. If you're going to be the characters dressed up like and holding a rubber dragon puppet, don't touch children's hair. And this was in the 80s. Well, so, just like, as a rule, you shouldn't touch children's hair if they're not your own children. I found that out the hard way. Sorry. Just for the record, don't touch adults' hair. Right. Unless... Especially Yeah, if you know a black woman, women. don't go near her fucking hair. Don't touch it. Also, don't be engaging with strangers if you don't have to. No. See, that's one of my biggest pet peeves. Did I already say it? Uh -huh. Don't talk to me while I'm in public. I already said it. Fuck. It's fine. Listen. Don't drunk. This is Can what, I ask you about this? Just, I mean, because, you know, whatever. What about family gathering? Everyone's together for the holidays. Oh, yeah, baby. You're feeling good about shit. The spiral hams roasting over the spit. You're more on an Easter vibe. I'm more on a Thanksgiving vibe. Right. And then. So what are you drinking in my basement without us knowing? But so someone's like, hey, let's play Monopoly. And always... Love Monopoly. Love Monopoly. Always, always, always the worst candidate to ever be banker, either because they're absolutely a moron and they can't count, yep. or you know they are a lying, thieving son of a bitch. They always want to be banker. And I got to do... I'm saying get in the paint, box this motherfucker out. I feel like the only time... You ain't I taking title cards on the sly, bro. The only time I would really have 100% trust in you is when you're playing a game. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, dude. I play Unless by the rules. Unless you're playing like Among Us or something, which was, I've never played. I was playing golf with Justin, okay? Yeah. The tee is up top. The green is down below. You can't see the green. He tees off. Ball goes way down. He goes, I'll meet you down there. I said, no problem. Yeah. So I waited like a minute. I tee off. I get in the cart. I start pulling down. This dude's jumping out of his swamp. With a ball that's not even his. To, thr try to, to throw, throw it in the fairway. The He's like, oh yeah, no, I just I saw a duck. I'm See, like, listen, I you're know... You're cheating at golf? I know McKay can count, but there's no way that he scored lower than, say, you. No, no, no. I, I think that... I is McKay better at golf than you? Because he's Scottish? <laughs> he is Scottish. So um, he, he was born... So McKay was actually born on, on the... Like, in the, in the rough of St. Andrews. That's right. Like, right by the castle... It's when the mud people bore the new clan chief. Sort of, except that Justin is a twin and oh. somewhat of a medical marvel because as Fraternal. his sister was being born, Fraternal he twin. actually fell out of his mother's ass. Oh, he plopped out. Yeah. See, I know that. He's one of those backdoor babies, we call him. Yeah, I love him so much, like, really like a brother. He's huggable. We watched, a, uh, so we, you know, we used to do documentaries and whatnot, screwing around, drinking in the woods and whatnot. Oh, yeah. We watched, so Larry and I watched uh, a shitload of those documentaries last night, of which Justin is a major part. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I fucking love this kid. He's really so charismatic. So much so that the fifth iteration may be coming later this year. Stay tuned. Okay. Find your own nights, your own YouTube channel for it. <laughs> Wow, what a gross person. Well, yeah. you're actually in the episode yeah. and the show, and so... Anyway. All right, I'll take it. Yeah, listen, my pet peeve is you trying to distance yourself from something that you called me drunk and wanting to get involved with. My pet peeve is, like, I wish I had a better beard like you. Oh, well, that's not a pet peeve. That's just a straight-up jealousy, baby. Damn, that thing's flush. You know what? It's uh, It's gotten me uh, It's gotten me far in life. If you sure saw has. me without a beard, you'd throw up. Yeah. 
Look, and then there's, you know, your pet peeve is not having eyes as translucent or universal as mine. I don't ever envy your eyes. You're serious? I'll take those bitches out with a goddamn melon baller. Wow, what a violent freak. It's not violent, I go slow. You go slow. So my pet peeve is you going slow <laughs> when you should go fast. What? <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you directing a plane back Just into the head? Just be doing crazy what movements. What is that? Holy crap. All right, so look, we got to go. Don't ever screw around in the supermarket. If you're in the way, don't put your card up against the cereal aisle and be like, well, I don't know what I'm doing. Get the fuck out. Don't stop at a yield sign. Holy shit, don't stop at a yield sign. Dude, don't go left on red. Who the, f <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Who the fuck goes That's left? just a rule. Yeah, yeah, that's a law, actually. Yeah. Um, okay, so we gotta go. Uh, you cool? Don't go slow in the fast line. You already said that. And don't eat gelatin. Definitely don't eat gelatin. That's okay. my pet peeve, is eating gelatin. Like, well, what the fuck are they using that, like, pork bones for? Pho? Don't put your teeth on a fork, and we'll see you next week. God bless. Pho. Yourself. Thanks.